Hello Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. My name is Julia Aurelia. I'm here to do your reading for May 2022. I'm using the Light Seer Tarot and I'm only using the Major Arcana to see the main energies of your reading. And I'm going to clarify each uh, position basically then with the Lenormand. So let's have a look into your energies. Okay. So I'm going to use a past present and how the situation is going to develop in the near future spread what are the energies what are the energies for Taurus Summon Rising Venus okay let's see High Priestess and the Hierophant and the Wheel of Fortune Strength Death Magician Lovers, Hanged Man, and the Star. Bottom of the deck, Hoppala. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, the Fool. Can we please get another energy for the past? The Star, for the present, a letter, and the near future, a house. All right. So let's have a look here. Okay. So in the past, we do see the high priest and, and the high priestess and the hierophant. So both are very spiritual card. This is a card of looking inwards, of um, connecting with your higher self, connecting with spirit, uh, trusting your intuition here. Uh, the Hierophant as well, a very spiritual card, um, receiving messages from the divine. Um, I feel like in the past you have been divinely guided to do some changes in your life. Um, there might have been also with the Hierophant and the Wheel of Fortune a very destined change in your life that maybe put you on your path, on your purpose. Um, as the Wheel of Fortune can talk um, also about a destiny energy, some sort of change for the better. Uh, and the Hierophant is also the divine helping you. So I feel like in the past you have been highly intuitive, uh, maybe working spiritually uh, for yourself or for others. And you have been guided onto a path where at some point the divine stepped in and helped you um, to for some sort of change, a positive change in your life to clear something. Uh, the star of the Lenormand also talks about success, so a very successful change. Uh, maybe there was a wish fulfillment or something related to your success and happiness with the star card. Also, I feel like something in the past has cleared for you. So you suddenly felt like really uh, in alignment with your divine path and which, um, with where you want to go and where the divine is basically leading you. So it feels like the past with the star card and with the wheel of fortune and with the hierophant um, basically all talk about, okay, something has cleared up for you. It was the right time, the stars aligned, the divine helped you, for a positive change leading to you leading to your destiny or to something that you need to fulfill here and the high priestess says that you were intuitive enough to um to follow the signs and to basically go on to that path now in the current energy for may we do have the strength of death and the magician so there is definitely tr something transforming uh, the strength might um, tell uh, or might mean that uh, you need a significant amount of inner strength uh, or to be courageous in a specific situation. Have trust, have faith, be courageous, trust yourself, trust your inner strength that you are going to transform something here. There is an energy of letting go and being reborn. Uh, or letting go and a new beginning here. We have the new beginning as the overall energy, as a theme of everything here, but with a death card in the center of the reading. And in this specific case, it says death and rebirth. We definitely may have a strong energy for you are transforming something that might mean, uh, or it might give you inner strength. That could be the case with the strength card. 
um, or it takes some of your strength to transform something, to let go of something, an old way of thinking, uh, or maybe uh, the clearing of blockages. Um, there is something where I feel like it's now time to really let this go. Um, then with the magician, again, it says focus onto the future, focus on the things that you want to achieve, that you want to manifest now, because that's where you're going. And in order to achieve your goals, you now need to use all of your resources, may it be mentally, emotionally, uh, physically, um, in terms of your your talents or what is given to you in the physical reality to achieve your goal. And it's very important now for you to stay focused here. Um, what's very interesting is that we have the infinity sign here and the infinity sign here and then the death and rebirth has the infinity sign here. So there's something um, at the moment uh, somehow related to infinity, to a circle. Um, maybe there's something related to your karma as well, um, like the, the ups and down or the, the circle. The, uh, the ending and new beginning, um, basically some sort of ending is directly leading to a new beginning, but something is deeply, deeply, deeply transforming within you and your character. And that might be because of a certain communication. There might be a letter coming in. There might be a very important document coming in. Um, it could refer to writing something. It could refer to uh, receiving a message or sending out a message. That is a big part here for you in May now uh, for this transformation. Um, going a little bit uh, more into the future and see how is this going to develop. Um, with the lovers, uh, obviously, the lovers can always stand for a soulmate connection here. Uh, seeing things from a different perspective, gaining insight, gaining knowledge, gaining therefore maybe some sort of clarity and knowing that you are on the right path with the star. The lovers, if this is not a divine connection for you, the lovers definitely stand for a choice. So there might be some sort of choice that you need to make uh, in terms of following your heart, uh, what feels right to you. You're going to gain some sort of insight here. Uh, which will then lead to clarity, uh, some sort of epiphany, uh, epiphany or enlightened moment um, that all relates to, uh, it might be that this insight comes after a period of stagnation, but that ultimately leads to some sort of healing here and um, maybe like some sort of renewal in the near future. Uh, we do have the house here, so obviously this could be related to the place that you live, your house or your flat, or maybe even the, the city or the, uh, the town you're living in. So maybe that plays a big part here as well. Um, but also the, um, could be a family situation here, could play a part. Or the house in general stands for stability as well, for stability, for a specific amount of wealth. Uh, so all of this could also relate to stable foundation, stability, maybe some sort of routine that you're, um, where you might gain some sort of insight here in the near future. What I want to do now is I want to, hold on a second, get the Moonology deck, deck and pull an extra card for you. Can we, can, can we please get another energy for Taurus? Another energy for Taurus, please. For the month of May, what does Taurus need to know? Don't let pride get in your way. Very interesting as uh, this is a full moon in Leo. We have a Leo card here. We have other cards here. So the Hierophant is your card, your energy. So um, just having a little uh, like journey into the zodiacs that are on the table. Um, it might be that in the past this also referred strongly to you and yourself. But then again, how I um, how the energies of the card fell, it was definitely something related to you, to your divine path, to your destiny. Um, so yeah, the Hierophant here in the past. We have a Leo energy here and we have a Scorpio here. It doesn't need to resonate. I'm just telling you the energies. We have a Leo here. We have Gemini with the lovers and we have Aquarius with the star. Maybe those energies resonate with you as well. If not, just leave it to the side. Don't let pride get in your way. Um, I'd like to change it a little bit. Like don't let your ego go in, the, uh, in your way. So there might be a situation where it is important to be a little bit humble or to yeah, step a, a step step a step back <laughs> uh, in order to not let yourself 
um, get into the way of something here and just as a little um, yeah reminder basically i hope you resonate with the reading if so please leave a like comment or subscribe to the channel and i see you guys next time bye